In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a grid using CSS Grid Layout. You can see in my markup, I have a div with a class of grid, and that's got eight items inside it. So to make a grid, we use a new value of the display property, display grid. And although we can't see any difference yet, we've now got a grid layout here. So let's create some column tracks. The property grid template columns creates column tracks and here I'm just going to create three 200 pixel width columns. And you can see that we've now got something that looks more like a grid and the items are laying out on that grid. And they line up both as rows and as columns. We get a gap here where we don't have enough items to fill the bottom row. This is unlike Flexbox, which would have spread these items out across the row. We've only specified columns, and yet we've got rows for the items to go into. And that's because Grid has this concept of the explicit grid. That's the one that we create with grid template columns or grid template rows. And then we have the implicit grid. And those are grid lines and grid tracks that Grid creates to hold items that we place outside of the grid that we've created. Perhaps I should add some rows here. So. Let's add rows. And I'm going to add a 200 pixel row and a 100 pixel row. And you can see what happens there. But we still have items being laid out underneath. And you can see that these are auto sized. They're sized, they fit their content, but no bigger. If you wanted to make these created rows a certain size, we can do that. And we can use the grid auto rows property and give that a size. And so now our automatically created rows are 100 pixels tall. Finally, if we want to have a gutter between our items, we can use grid column gap. And that spaces out our columns and grid row gap, which spaces out our rows. And those properties can be represented instead as a shorthand of just grid gap, which will do both together. That's the real basics of defining a grid. And in future videos, we'll have a look at some more complex ways of doing that and different ways of playing around with the grid and the grid definition to create different kinds of grids and different effects.